Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about LPG. Um, I've had quite a few questions about it on the smart car, so I thought I'd go into detail what is it, um, whether it's safe, and how it works. So let's get straight into it. So LPG is actually the byproduct of uh, petrol production. Um, it's the vapors, it's known as also as uh, CNG, compressed natural gas, or um, propane. Uh, so it's essentially the same stuff that powers your barbecue. Now the stuff that they use in cars is ever so slightly modified to help it run better in cars, but it's essentially the same thing. Now what you have to do, you have to have your car converted, um, and it was quite popular in the early 2000s, hence this being a 53 plate car with an LPG system, to convert your vehicle to LPG. Now the reason for doing so is that LPG is much cheaper than petrol. Uh, currently here in the UK petrol prices are about £1.90 per litre. Currently LPG is 80 pence per litre so it is significantly cheaper. Half the price uh, and essentially you you get exactly the same performance exactly the same uh, drivability um, but for half the price so it's quite a good uh, alternative. Now with price, fuel prices being what they were, I decided I'd bite the bullet and buy an LPG car just to give it a go, really. Um, you can still run on petrol as normal, uh, but uh, yeah, I thought we'd give LPG a go as well. Um, and essentially what you have to do is fill your car up from an auto gas point, um, which are actually surprisingly common. Um, a lot of people don't notice them, but you fill it up at the front here on the smart car. Um, clips on there. Uh, and it injects the gas at pressure. That then goes into the LPG tank, which on this smart car is just under the middle here. And I've got a 20 litre LPG tank. So I can put 20 litres of LPG in. Gets me around two to 250 miles, depending, sorry, 250 to 200 miles, depending on how I drive, the roads I'm driving on, etc. Um, and that costs me, about 18 pounds um, so not bad at all it's less than 10 pence a litre now I've got a little switch oh sorry 10 pence a litre 10 pence per mile now I've got a switch down here uh, where I can manually switch between petrol or LPG now these little uh, coloured knobs here or the sort of little lights here LEDs they come on and tell me what level my uh, LPG tank is at and I press this P button here and now that orange light comes on and it runs on petrol. So the car will always start on petrol if it can. So if you've got more than a quarter of a tank of petrol, um, it will always start on petrol because it's better for the car to start on petrol, finds it easier. Uh, LPG is less energy dense than petrol, so it's much easier to start an engine on petrol than it is LPG. Then once the car gets up to a suitable temperature, it will automatically switch over to LPG um, and be costing you, like I said, less than 10 pence per mile now a lot of people worry about gas in cars they worry that it isn't safe etc however these cars have to go through or these systems have to go through loads and loads of government certifications safety etc and you have to have them inspected uh, regularly as well so um yeah in terms of safety i personally don't see there's much of an issue Obviously, there's more flammable stuff in the car, so there is a potential risk. Um, however, like I said, these, these systems are so well tested and well um, managed that uh, you shouldn't have any issues. Now, this is coming from someone who drives hydrogen cars. Um, I work for a hydrogen car company. Um, I'm used to driving with flammable gases in the car. It doesn't bother me. Like I said, there's so many safety precautions made um, to do it to make sure nothing happens that uh, you're probably safer in an LPG car than you are a petrol car. Um, the only thing is, if you do have any fires or etc., uh, you just have to be sort of a bit more wary. Um, the systems are designed to get rid of all the LPG um, and not but not cause an explosion. Um, so yeah, it's really, really up to personal preference. The press caught on um, and sort of made it seem much more dangerous than it actually is. Uh, the amount of petrol fires versus the amount of LPG car fires is uh, far more, but um, unfortunately that seemed to kill the technology uh, in sort of the early stages. Now the government actually used to offer you um, subsidies to convert your car because it actually produces 20% less CO2 uh, than using petrol so this car 
uh, produces around 120 grams per kilometer running on petrol um, and then you're looking at sub 100 um, when you're running on LPG so it is better for the environment to run on LPG um, obviously it is still a fossil fuel but uh, the biggest reason for me uh, was the cost savings um, it's just massive so in order to make your car work on LPG you obviously need the LPG tank it has to have a separate ECU as well for the to manage the uh, LPG system and then I'll show the engine adapt adaptations that have to happen you have to have a new set of injectors um, or a second set of injectors uh, that oh, excuse the uh, falling apart carpet here um, and you'll see here there's that's the that is those the L, the LPG injectors uh, you've then got um, an extra set of fuel lines on top of the engine got a filter here as well and uh yeah but to be honest guys if i told you that this car was L if i did or if i didn't tell you this car wasn't was an lpg car and um you just drove it uh you wouldn't know uh that's how sort of similar it is to drive um so uh yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know your thoughts in the comments below have you ever had an lpg car um, i'm sure we've all heard horror stories about lpg cars uh, there's a lot of videos on youtube of lpg cars supposedly break blowing up and uh, then they've been proved that it's not lpg um so it's, it's a bit of a bizarre thing that people like to uh, try and kill technologies um that sort of challenge the status quo we find that with hydrogen um, a lot of people try and beat up hydrogen say it's not going to work when it's quite a good resource but um, i won't go that into that in this video so uh yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next video cheers